After a short intermission, we resume with boat number 10 here at Jewel 6 at the NE6 suite in Newcastle City Centre. This boat features two big heavyweights. Fergal Allenby to our right in the blue corner will take on Michael, the real deal ferry, to our left. And as we've just been flicking through the notes pre-fight here, we've been told that Michael Ferry is the current world burnacle boxing champion and has beaten fighters from across the globe. So I'm really interested to see how this one goes. Yeah, I agree with that one, Chris. For, I'm really, really interested. Both lads, Fergal, very big men. Both said, probably pack a massive punch. Fergal Allen be a very handy guy. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Obviously, the statues look a little bit different. Ferry a little bit leaner. You're forgetting this is not it's not a burn knuckle fight, so it'll be interesting Ferry. to see the boxing credentials of Ferry. Ferry pushing forward, forward there with strong shot. shots. Ferry using that jab very, very wisely. Nice strong jab. One thing that you can bet your bottom dollar that Ferry has is just unbelievable toughness. Definitely, Chris. You don't make a career out of burnacle fighting if you can't take a dig. Massive power from Ferry there. He's got massive power. And what I'm impressed with most is his actual, his, his technical ability. Yeah, his boxing he's ability is very, very good. For a big man, he's moving in and out. His head movement's really good. Allenby's still keeping his composure, though. Yeah, guards high, blocking the majority of the jabs that come through. But Ferry at the minute just trying to ragdoll his opponent there. Ferry works off that jab very, very nicely. And as we said, Fergal Allenby is a very handy guy. He's a good boxer, so interesting to see how this goes over the next couple of minutes. Excellent movement from Ferry there, though. Chris, again, he's taking that step back when Allenby comes in. Oh, good shot from uh, Allenby yeah, there. More of a slip than anything, but good body shot nonetheless from Allenby as Ferry comes forward and lands a good left of his own. And these guys are throwing leather now. Real heavyweight haymakers. De definitely pack a bunch of these lads. Ferry thing. uses that jab lovely to set up his combinations, like I say. There you go, there's a double jab with the right hand on the end. And that's another thing, he's, he's, he's constantly keeping Allenby guessing with the jabs. Again, good jab, head movement, Excellent, step yeah. back in jab. Beautiful display he, thus far. He's moving like such a light... A lighter person, but these lads are heavy and he's got great movement. Yeah, he's uh, he's taken a few shots. Alan B putting on a per fight. Landed a few good shots, but as we say, Ferry is uh, he's probably one up after the opening stanza. Some good, as we said, technical ability. Good head movement, in and out, landing shots, quick to move, circle off and fire again. So, very good performance thus far. I think, I think on the scorecards that round was definitely a be going to Ferry. He looked very, very strong. Looked good composure, like I say. His movement and head movement was excellent, Chris. So a very, very action-packed first two minutes. As we move on. Ferry, Ferry's found his comfort zone now. I think he'll be coming there. Uh, he'll come to set up the big bombs now. That's right, and as we move on to minutes three and four, both fighters out in the middle before Billy Saul is going to wave them on. Allenby first to initiate an attack. Like I said, Chris, he's found his comfort zone. So very starting to push forward. Now he's comfortable with them shots. Yeah, and as we said, you don't make a career in burnable boxing without being able to take a dig. Oh, Allenby's put, coming back with some big shots himself there. So he'll be quite happy to take a dig to get on the inside, but he ate quite a few shots there. Yeah. And Allenby putting up a better performance in this second round thus far. Good head movement again from Allenby there. Nice jab of the body from Allenby. Good left hand from Allenby. As Rock Ferry he managed to stay on his feet. Again, I think it was more of lost footing. Yeah, but it yeah, definitely did land, just clipped there. him behind the ear. And Ferry quite happy to stand in the pocket and trade. Both, both men have massive amounts of power, so they both have to be careful keeping that guard tight. 
Ferris Coleman straight through the middle of them shots. He's he's starting to listen. There you go, straight through the middle. There you go, he hit him through the middle of them shots. Yes. He's left. listening to his corner man. Good left from Allenby to open the exchange, but a good right uppercut just on the exit from Ferry. As this one is now beginning to warm up nicely. Good shots from Ferry again there. Ferry teeing off now. But again, Allenby falls back for the left of his own, Reese. So. Allenby's still in the game. He's still got them shots. He's still dangerous. Ferry needs to keep that composure for me. But he's working a very, very good boxing ability. Lovely one, two from yeah, Ferry there. Very one, nice. Two. And a shot to oh, the body. Lovely overcut. As the crowd Allenby rolls, still Ferry to there. come forward. Very, very good round from Ferry there. Second time of the third, final round. Billy Saw waves the action on for the third and final round. Allenby lunges in to start the initial shot of the third round there. Good jab from Ferry. Jab from Lovely Ferry. long jab. And again, one, two, straight down the pipe. Find the home for Ferry. And again, three quick hands. Great combination there from Ferry. Allenby locks him up though. Allenby coming forward now to initiate. Ferry quick to get out of the way. Lands a beautiful jab, one, two. Like I said before, Chris, Ferry sets out shots up with a lovely jab and then, then he sets his combination away. Working great for him. Yeah. Again, another one, two. And although Allenby has walked through him and he's come Good out of the shot right there from Allenby. They are beginning to take their toll as I think Allenby shows a, a little blood from the nose. And Ferry now swinging everything, including the kitchen sink, to try and get the finish. As his massive, corner team scream for him to do work. Great movement from Ferry there again. Yeah, Allenby taking a few deep breaths as Ferry bullies forward once more. Lovely combination from Ferry there again. And Allenby comes back with his own shot from Allenby. Now, the thing that I'm intrigued, well, I'm, I'm impressed with the most is that these guys are heavyweights. We're in the final round and the speed in which these combinations are coming. Yeah, it's phenomenal, Chris. The speed's phenomenal. The movement and the power is still there after the three rounds. Allenby's corner, screaming for him to come forward in the last 20 seconds. Both. Ferry meets him in the middle. Both lads meet in the middle, a massive shot. And the boss still walking forward. One, two, once more down the pipe. Like you said, Chris, not very often you get a and that's the end of heavyweights that with a with, with a gas tank like that. Both lads very fit, good movement and good power. Very, very good performance from both men. And you're winning in the red corner. But I think on the night, Ferry's technical ability, his head movement, he's managed to land the more shots and evade more. Yeah, he landed the cleanest shots. He's the jobs done. He landed the cleanest shots for me and he just had that little bit more than Allenby. But uh, hats off to Allenby, he put up a massive fight. A lot of men wouldn't have been able to take them shots. They were, were very, very powerful.